According to the latest news from CNN, on April 5th, a dam suddenly burst in the city of Orsk in the Orenburg region, instantly causing the water level of the Ural River to surge several meters, flooding a large area of this city with a population of 230,000. Area According to local officials, more than 4,000 houses were flooded in Orsk alone and 4,208 people, including 1,019 children, were evacuated. After experiencing the worst floods in decades, Russia's Ural region is experiencing an unprecedented flood crisis. From floods caused by melting ice and snow that flooded streets to dam, bursts that caused the emergency evacuation of tens of thousands of people, this natural disaster continues to spread, causing huge damage to local residents and infrastructure. This is the worst flood we have ever recorded. Water levels have reached dangerous levels and will only continue to rise in the coming days. We have no choice but to evacuate all residents as quickly as possible without any delay. Orenburg Region Governor Dennis Apassler said worriedly. As the floods spread further, the city of Orenburg, about 400 kilometers away from Orsk, is also facing severe challenges. In this city with a population of 550,000, the water level of the Ural River is close to a record high, and the local government has called on all residents to evacuate immediately. The river may reach critical levels overnight. We have no choice. Everyone must leave immediately. Orenburg Mayor Sergei Salmin warned. Most of the streets in Orsk have been flooded, and only scattered roofs and trees can be seen above the water. Residents struggled to make their way through neck-deep water, and some had to escape in small boats. The water is so strong that we can't cope with it at all. We are trapped at home with a vast ocean outside and can't get out. The children have been hungry for two days and are in urgent need of food and drinking water. Anna Yi, a resident of Orsk Deneva, said desperately. At the same time, the supply of relief supplies is severely limited. The local emergency department continues to appeal to all walks of life to provide help, hoping to deliver food, drinking water and necessities to the affected people as soon as possible. Currently Orsk and the surrounding areas are in urgent need of large amounts of drinking water and food, and there is also a shortage of medical equipment and medicine. We are doing our best to organize rescue, but the resources are too limited. Emergency Minister Alexander Kulenkov said. Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered the government to fully support the rescue work in the disaster-stricken areas, and dispatched Kulenkov to personally command the scene. Putin also asked regional governments to be fully prepared for upcoming larger-scale floods. The flood disaster in the Orenburg region is not an isolated incident. Over the past few days, many areas of Russia's Ural Mountains and Siberia, as well as parts of neighboring Kazakhstan, have also experienced their worst flooding in decades. Thank you for liking, leaving comments, subscribing and turning on the little bell, we will update every day. In terms of scale and impact, this flood may be Kazakhstan's worst natural disaster in 80 years. Kazakh President Kasim Jomart Tokayev expressed concern. He called on governments in Central Asia to prepare to assist the affected people. According to the Russian Ministry of Emergencies, more than 10,400 houses have been flooded across the country, with the Ural, Siberian and Volga river basins being the hardest hit. A state of emergency has been activated in several states and republics, forcing tens of thousands of people to evacuate their homes. Experts analyzed that the main cause of this flood disaster was the intensified melting of ice and snow caused by abnormal climate. 
We have observed that the snowmelt rate in the Ural Mountains this spring is much faster than before, coupled with abnormal rainfall, causing river water levels to rise sharply, exceeding the carrying capacity of the dam. Experts from the Russian Meteorological Monitoring Agency said. Investigating the root cause, climate change caused by human activities is exacerbating the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events. This is no accident. We must be alert and take practical measures to deal with the increasingly severe climate crisis, said Igor Sokolov a climate expert at the Russian Academy of Sciences. However, simply blaming natural factors is not enough to explain the worsening of this disaster. Investigation results show that the Orsk Dam burst may be related to poor construction and maintenance management. According to a preliminary investigation, the dam built in 2014 suffered from serious negligence in maintenance and violated relevant safety standards. This may be an important reason for the final failure of the dam. Orenburg District Prosecutor's Office said in a statement pointed out in. The investigative committee of the Russian Federation has opened a criminal investigation into neglect of duty and violation of construction safety regulations during the construction and maintenance of the dam. If it is found that there is a major responsibility, the relevant responsible persons will face severe punishment. This dam was supposed to be able to withstand a water level of up to 5.5 meters, but in fact it broke when the water level was only 9.3 meters. There are obviously serious safety hazards and management problems. We must thoroughly find out the reasons and must not let this happen. This tragedy has happened again, Orsk Mayor Vasily Kazupika said sadly. Minister Kulenkov admitted that there were indeed some problems with the local government's response. We have to be honest and say that there are indeed some delays in organizing evacuations and rescues, and some residents are very dissatisfied with this. We must seriously learn lessons and improve emergency plans to ensure that people can be protected in a timely and effective manner when the next disaster strikes. As the water level of the Ural River continues to rise, Russian authorities have taken a series of emergency measures. Kremlin spokesman Peskov said that Putin had ordered emergency minister Alexander Kulenkov to rush to the affected areas, to direct rescue efforts and asked regional governments to prepare for the coming greater floods. The Ministry of Emergency Affairs said that in addition to Orsk and Orenburg, the Korgon and Tumen regions of Siberia also declared a state of emergency. Forecast data show that water levels in the Ural Mountains and their tributaries will reach record highs in the next few days, and Siberia's Ishim and Tobol rivers are also at risk of serious flooding. According to our monitoring, the entire Ural region and many places in Siberia will be hit by large-scale flooding. We are doing our best to prepare for the response, but the situation is very serious and I am afraid that more areas will be hit in the next few days." Kulenkov said worriedly. Putin has ordered the establishment of a special working group to coordinate rescue forces from various regions to ensure that the affected people are relocated to safe areas as soon as possible. At the same time, Russia also requires Central Asian countries to jointly respond to this major natural disaster and provide necessary help to the affected people. We must unite to face this unprecedented flood challenge. This is not only related to Russia, but also related to the stability and development of the entire Central Asia region. We will do our best to save lives and rebuild our homes, and we also hope to receive support from the international community and assistance. Putin emphasized to local officials on the phone. At the same time, 
The Russian Federation Investigative Committee has also intervened to investigate the cause of the Orsk Dam burst, to prevent similar accidents from happening again. Experts warn that if management is poor or safety hazards are not completely rectified, the consequences will be disastrous in the event of a more severe flood. For a region, having stable water conservancy facilities, especially dams, is the key to ensuring the safety of people's lives and property. However, even the strongest dams may be damaged under certain harsh conditions, leading to catastrophic failures. The reason, of course, must start with the construction and maintenance management of the dam itself. But at the same time, the increasingly severe climate change trend in recent years has also brought unprecedented challenges to the safe operation of dams. The first thing to look at is management factors. The root cause of many dam burst accidents can often be traced back to negligence and mistakes in construction and maintenance management. Secondly, the impact of the construction quality of the dam itself cannot be ignored. Some dams have structural defects during design and construction, such as substandard materials and incomplete anti-leakage measures, which will greatly reduce the dam's disaster resistance. What's more, some corrupt behaviors can also lead to a significant reduction in construction quality and even fraud, which is undoubtedly one of the important factors that cause dam burst accidents. What needs special attention is that once such a problem occurs in a dam, it will often bury huge hidden dangers, and in some extreme cases it can easily lead to a catastrophic dam failure. At the same time, there is another important reason that cannot be ignored, which is the extreme weather events caused by climate change. In recent years, Problems such as increased melting of ice and snow and frequent heavy rains caused by global warming have made it difficult for many dams with original reasonable design to cope with the impact of flood peaks. For example, in the case of the Orsk accident, expert analysis pointed out that the snowmelt rate in the Ural Mountains this spring was much faster than before and the abnormal rainfall caused the river water level to rise sharply, exceeding the carrying capacity of the dam. In addition, some areas may also experience extreme weather such as unprecedented heavy rainfall and storms, which may be a direct cause of dam bursts. What deserves more attention is that extreme weather events caused by climate change are becoming more and more common and serious. Russian scientists pointed out that global climate change caused by human activities is increasing the duration, intensity and frequency of extreme weather events such as wildfires, storms and floods. This undoubtedly brings huge challenges to many areas that rely on water conservancy facilities. What is particularly important is that when dealing with these new threats brought about by climate change, Relying solely on the disaster resilience of the dam itself is far from enough. What should be more important is to fundamentally improve the disaster resilience of water conservancy facilities, including adopting more advanced monitoring and early warning technologies, improving emergency plans, and strengthening daily maintenance. At the same time, the government and relevant departments must also attach great importance to the impact of climate change on dam safety and make adequate risk assessments and response preparations in advance. It cannot be ignored that such dam burst accidents do not occur in isolation and often cause serious casualties and property losses, just like the recent flood disaster in the Ural region of Russia. Tens of thousands of people were forced to evacuate their homes in an emergency, thousands of houses were flooded, and relief supplies were severely lacking. This not only caused a huge blow to the lives of the affected people, but also placed a heavy burden on the local government and all sectors of society. 
What should be paid more attention to is that the chain reaction caused by this kind of dam failure often has a serious impact on the surrounding areas and even the entire river basin. The washed-out dam can no longer play its role in regulating floods, which will inevitably lead to wider flood disasters. Coupled with the intensification of climate anomalies, flood disasters under such circumstances tend to become more severe, causing a heavy blow to local economic and social development. When a dam breaks, the consequences are often not limited to the damage to the dam itself. First of all, the flood disaster directly caused by the dam failure itself may cause huge casualties and property losses. This large-scale flooding not only threatens the life safety of the affected people, but also causes huge damage to their lives. Secondly, the secondary disasters caused by large-scale floods cannot be ignored. The primary issue is water pollution. A large amount of washed-out sediment and pollutants will inevitably seriously pollute the water sources in the disaster-stricken areas, which not only endangers the safety of residents' drinking water, but may also lead to the deterioration of the water ecological environment. In addition, flooded roads and pipeline facilities will also cause traffic disruptions and power supply interruptions. This will not only hinder the progress of rescue work, but also cause serious interference to local social order and economic operations. What needs special attention is that such large-scale floods may also cause secondary public health problems. In the case of post-disaster flooding and deterioration of residents' living environment, epidemics such as infectious diseases can easily break out, posing a major threat to the health of the affected people. Emergency departments must attach great importance to this issue and take necessary health and epidemic prevention measures to cut off the channels for the spread of the epidemic. It is worth mentioning that dam failure may also cause serious ecological and environmental damage. A large amount of flooding will not only wash away vegetation and farmland along the coast, but may also destroy the balance of rivers and groundwater systems, causing soil erosion, deterioration of water quality and other problems. These ecological damages are often difficult to repair in a short period of time, leaving a heavy burden on local sustainable development. What is even more noteworthy is that such large-scale flood disasters may also cause serious economic losses. Flooded houses, farmland, factories, etc. will undoubtedly cause huge property losses to local governments and residents. At the same time, Secondary impacts such as traffic interruptions and power supply interruptions will also cause serious damage to local production and living order, causing a heavy blow to local economic development. Many enterprises may face the dilemma of suspending work and production, and post-disaster reconstruction work requires a large amount of capital investment. What is particularly important is that dam burst accidents and the chain reactions they cause often have serious impacts on the entire basin area and even surrounding areas. The washed out dam can no longer play its role in regulating floods, which will inevitably cause a wider range of flood disasters and endanger more people and assets. At the same time, the economic and social development of the disaster-stricken areas will also be severely damaged, and this regional negative impact may last for a long time. What cannot be ignored is the potential impact of dam failure on the regional political and economic landscape. In some border areas, the bursting of dams may trigger disputes and frictions between countries and affect regional peace and stability. At the same time, post-disaster reconstruction work also requires a large amount of capital investment, which may put great pressure on local government budgets. Thank you for liking, leaving a message, subscribing and turning on the little bell.
We will update the latest news from around the world every day. Continue to use a scientific perspective to explore the complex truth behind meteorological events.